what's up guys today in this video i'm going to be going over three easy mods that you can do for your uh creality k1 max machine uh two of these mods are going to be specific for the k1 max uh possibly applied to the other k1 series machines and then one of the mods is going to pretty much apply to any 3d printing machine that you have that has a removable build plate so let's get right into it Okay, so mod number one, and this is probably going to be my favorite because I love LED lighting, right? So, uh, everybody knows on the K1 Max machine that the LED lighting that it comes with is pretty much shit, and it is what it is. So, on the K1 Max machine, it came with this little guy right here for LED lighting. It is literally three, four, five, six little LED lights. And it's placed right at the front of the machine, shining down onto the build plate. So you get shadows from the side, both sides. I mean, you just got shadows everywhere, and it's not a lot of light. So that's why I went ahead and upgraded. And I'll show you guys what I did. So on this connector right here, it's just a little two-pin connector. And I'll show you the connector that you need. And it's literally a plug and play um, solution for your LED lighting. And it's it's very simple to do. It's 24 volts here. And the the lights, the I use the cob lights. And they're a bright white light. And they look great. And so let's check out a before and after. So as you can see, guys. Here it is with the lights installed. I might blind you a little bit, but there they are. You can see they're running on both sides and then I have them here. And I mean, huge difference. And as you can see, there's no wires hanging down. You simply take the wire that was there and then you just tuck it right over here in the corner. It's real simple. There it is right there. You can see it. And it's very simple. Plug it in, tuck it in, stick on your lights and you're done. So this is a huge difference. As you can see, the LED lights that came with the K1 Max machine are just super dim. I mean, they're, they, they do the job, but as you can see, the after picture of the lights that I installed, I mean, you can see everything. You're good to go, and it's super bright, and there's no shadows left for you. It's just perfect, especially if you want to do time lapse and and show video of what you're what you're printing then it's perfect so before we jump on to the next mod let me show you real quick how i installed these and the how simple it is it's it's literally like i said a plug and play you've got two small solder points and it is going to require a solder gun so if you want to do it right now, there are other ways around that. I chose to go with the solder because that's the right way to do it. And it's very simple to do. So, if for, for you guys who don't want to do any soldering and you just want to be able to plug it in, um, I am going to be offering a, a light kit. So, basically, I'm just going to replicate what I did and do the soldering for you and do all the measuring. So, all you have to do is unplug this one, plug in the kit that you get from me, and then just go in there and peel the tape off the new ones and then just stick it around the, the top of the printer and you're good to go. So let's look at that real quick. All right, guys. So your LED lights, they're going to be located pretty much right behind that Creality logo right there. Only on there with the double sided sticky tape. So once you pry it off, I pried mine off with a flathead screwdriver and then uh, just kind of ripped it off of there. Now your connector here, it has a little bit of glue on there. They just do that so it doesn't fall out. And so once you, you'll want to take a razor blade and scrape the little bit of that glue off and then your connector will pop right out. And so your connector is going to look like that. And that's coming from right over here. And then the connectors that I'll show you that you need to get from Amazon. They'll plug right up and you'll be good to go. So let me show you what these lights look like. And they're in here, as you can see, they're the cob lights and they're super bright. 
as you saw in the after photo and they go all the way around i didn't do in the back because sometimes i do filming and i don't want the light hitting towards me when i'm filming so i did all the way across the front i did down this side and then i did down that side pretty much and it all runs and connects right here i have my connector right over here and mine those two wires go to the led lights and then it just plug and play just like that and that's mod number one all right guys so here we are on mod number two and that's going to be the k1 max lid riser and as you can see here i've got the the lid riser installed and uh, it's pretty much raising the lid off of the top about right about two inches i would say and um what you see here that's a foam gasket that i chose to install has nothing to do with the lid riser that's just something i put on there to eliminate pretty much all the fan noise so if you want to do that too i mean you can get that at home depot walmart it's just foam foam uh door or window gasket and it's just peel and stick you stick it on there and you're good to go so this right here you just print and these just slide and lock into place there's no screws involved it's it's straight up you just lock these into place and throw it on there and you're good to go and so what i wanted to show you guys was this so what i did to mine was i went ahead and added these uh, lid hinges so now instead of having to worry about you see that seal i have it sucks to it and man it kills the noise big time i love it so on the 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 lid hinges here it just eliminates the the issue with you know having to hang your lid and and worrying about breaking it and honestly i mean this is great i love it and so on on this here the the lid it just simply slides down into these hinges and and that's it it's a it's a really tight fit so you don't have to worry about it coming out so really right now if i just pull up on this i could take the lid off and and you know if i need to clean it or whatever needs to happen so that's going to be mod number two and i will include uh the stl files um uh, or i might just link it to the thingiverse I believe that's where I got this from. I'll include that down into this uh, description. So let's move on to number three. We're back inside the machine and check it out. This is the easiest mod that you can do and you'll thank me later. So you're, you're probably wondering why this is blue. If you know, you know. So if you don't know, this is blue uh, painter's tape. And I promise you, if you're having issues with your your prints not sticking or whatever your case may be and or you just don't want to put glue on your on your bill plate itself then try the painters tape i don't use uh glue sticks this is all i use and you put this down and you make sure that you get your seams as close i mean as close as possible and you won't see it in your print now if you put your if you have gaps and stuff here where your seams are you're going to see it in your print so you want to try to get that as close as possible and so so yeah that that this it sticks super great it lasts for a long time as long as you don't tear it up and worst case scenario it stops sticking or you know you you tear it or whatever you can either replace all of it or you can just peel off the strip that's messed up and just replace that all right, guys, so there you go. Three super easy mods that you can do at home that make a huge difference, and they, they don't cost very much, and it doesn't take long to do. And don't forget, if you want to get the light kit and you don't want to mess with any of the soldering, anything like that, uh, my contact info is down in the description. So just get with me, and, and I'll make it happen. I might even post them on eBay if I get enough um, requests for them. That way you guys should just go grab them from over there, and it's super easy. eBay, you handle the shipping, all that good stuff, and it's all good to go. So also the STL files uh, for the lid riser, if you want to do that, it's going to be down in the description as well. And if you just want to go buy the LEDs yourself off of Amazon with the little connectors and all that stuff, just 
again in the description so don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more and always stay ready